I'm going to keep it real with you so that um, all of you can keep it real with yourselves. I'm going to give you that permission. The permission that I'm giving myself, I'm giving to all of you women who have ever experienced any type of loss. I don't care if that loss was 10 years ago. Some of us have not dealt with loss because we've been surrounded by people who told us that we're just supposed to push through it. I've been that woman who's pushed through it. Trust me. It lands you on a therapy couch paying $145, $200, $235, depending on what city you're in, $300 an hour, spilling your life to someone trying to help you fix shit that you should have been able to fix years ago. So I'm looking at you. I'm giving you permission to feel what you feel because I gave myself permission to feel what we feel. And more of us as black women need to give each other permission to show ourselves some grace. Because we're human like every other woman. Our bodies go through the same thing. We're, we're going through the same thing. We are actually not that much tougher than, than we, we, we convince ourselves that we are, but we ain't. Our bodies are built the same way. And so I'm giving myself permission and I want to give other black women permission to just fucking feel. It hurts. My heart hurts. You know what? There are days like... People are talking to me and I like my heart, like I, I have this moment where I like literally do this because I feel like I'm protecting my heart because my heart is just like tightening in my chest. And I'm just like having to breathe through it. And I'm not going to pretend that that's not happening. I don't know. I'm not causing it to happen. It's my body. So who am I to tell my body what it's doing naturally is wrong? Why do we do that? Why do we tell our bodies, well, we can't feel like this? No, this is what our, because this is like cleansing, right? When you do a cleanse, your body's cleansing itself. The steps that you take when you, through grieving and warning, that's, that's actually to get you to heal. But so when you ignore it, you're not healing. And many of us are unhealed. And then we're bringing our unhealed self into other people's life. Or the people already in our life, we're bringing grief into their life. Because we refuse to heal because somewhere, somehow, we got a message that as black women, we're supposed to be strong and not vulnerable. Fuck that. That's what I'm, that's going to be my message to all of you every week is fuck that. Because I, this hurts. And I know some of you are hurting too.